Hey guys, Manitov here with another after action review of my Guild Wars. So let's go ahead and hop on in and take a look at what happened. Now in this first match I went up against the Molong, Skogul, and Harmonia, and the second match was a Feng Yang, Daphnis, and Amelia. Uh, there was a particular reason why I used the second comp, and I'm going to go ahead and go over that once that match starts. Uh, for the first match, it's uh, my normal comp, my safe comp that I use, which is Molong, Bulwark, and uh, Luis. Uh, pretty simple snipe, take out the threat, and uh, just wait for turn cycling and eliminate the threats. Uh, this Molong that I'm using, I believe, is on Vampire. I do have two Molongs. I have a Vio Molong uh, for a more aggressive playstyle, and then the Vampire for self-sustain. I took uh, the self-sustaining one in because Skogel uh, typically uh, is either built on a vampire or a uh, violence build and just in case it was on a sustain build itself I wanted to make sure I could match the sustain. And that confirms that yeah this is the, vi or the uh, vampire one. Uh, my Luis is built on a uh, swift set, and I did that intentionally because I wanted to try to uh, match speed because my violent sets, uh, other than two of them, uh, I think my best one's on Vela Jewel. Even then, I'm still only at plus 140 speed on the violent set, so my rune sets are limited. Harmonia doing Harmonia things, just stalling it out longer than it has to. I do use the uh, invincibility on my Bulwark when uh, no threats are present. Uh, that is just to uh, increase the knowledge capacity faster so I could uh, snipe out the end. Now for this match, the reason why I brought this particular comp was I wanted the Covenant to snipe the Daphnis, the Kali to snipe the Feng Ying, and uh, then I can turn cycle and kill off the Amelia. Uh, the reason I brought in this comp was particularly just to show how uh, a sniping comp works and how you can reduce the uh, bio proc chances or the chance of a loss due to bio procs by uh, eliminating the threats quickly. Uh, this was a discussion I saw carried on in chat earlier, so I wanted to highlight how you could uh, eliminate the threats as fast as possible. And it also helps that the uh, pony's AI is pretty derpy, so even on de they're not very good on defense, any one of them, really. I popped the uh, invincibility on my collie because my collie is squishy and I knew it was going to... Uh, tank that water pony so I wanted to make sure that it sustained itself. Uh, pretty common comp that you see on a lot of Guild War defenses, uh, Kamun, Theo, and Chasun. I use my Chi Wu to block beneficial effects and then I go in for the kill with Theo. Unfortunately this time my Theo decided not to defense break so I lose my Chi Wu here because uh, their Theo will land the defense break. Uh, follow up with my Bastet, defense break is on, and I've won the match. It's just a matter of uh, turn cycling, killing the Kamun, and then the uh, Chasun. Uh, blocking beneficial effects, I, a few uh, units provide this utility. Uh, uh, both uh, Chi Wu and Pung Bek. Uh, Megan also does it. Uh, it's really... Uh, an easy way to eliminate a Theo threat unless he decides to go proc nuts and proc out of it. Uh, some people were using, I think it's uh, the Dark Living Armor. I can't remember its name. I, don't, I think it's Zinc. Uh, Zinc also blocks uh, beneficial effects from being granted. And uh, the Dark Kobold Bomber. Uh, this next round, what I was doing. Uh, trying out the 2A Ramahan. I really like this unit. As you can see, well, the strip failed on this one. But uh, I brought in the Rena to tank everything because I knew uh, both uh, 
Molong and the Diana would go after Rena. Diana has elemental advantage over uh, Rena, and the Molong has elemental disadvantage. I now, without defense buff, I did 35k on a defense broken unit. That's how strong the uh, two-way Ramahan is. I'm really impressed with its kit. And pair it up with Olivia uh, for turn cycling. Mine is uh, built on a violence build. Uh, my 2A Rama on is, and my Olivia is on a swift. Because I'm trying to get that uh, initial attack bar reduction or uh, get defense up as fast as possible. After the Diana went down, virtually the whole threat of the team was eliminated. Uh, Chloe on defense with uh, Molong isn't that great uh, because the cooldowns are so long. Uh, after the initial first turn, 51k to Molong. After the first turn, uh, the turn cycling on that side is very weak. So after the initial burst, the, the threat was it eliminated itself. I'm very, I'm enjoying the 2A Ramahan a lot. I think it's a great unit. It's got great base stats. Uh, the damage multipliers are insanely good. Uh, it's got a strip, self-defense break. So it could set itself up for success. Now this last match here is uh, an error on my part. Uh, the whole discussion that was going on earlier was acknowledging the threats on a side. And that's what I try to point out when I'm telling people how to take down a defense. Uh, I incorrectly labeled the threat in this defense, which ended up costing me the match. I end up going for the Molong, and the, the actual threat is the uh, Fire Mermaid. And the only reason why it's a threat is because I forgot that it has a skill cooldown reduction on S3, which uh, virtually eliminates uh, my whole plan of buffing my uh, Molong uh, with invincibility and then the next turn uh, providing the shield and the immunity. As you see, it reset my uh, Wind Paladin so I no longer have the shield and the immunity. It's able to res the Molong and I'm not able to recover from this. Um, so next time I know going into it that uh, Fire Mermaid has to die first. Because even with uh, Perna proccing and sustaining the Molong after a reckless assault, Molong is going to go after one of my water tanks. And more than likely not, Perna will not go after uh, the water unit unless it's below 30% HP. But uh, my Wind Paladin would have been safe and that would have uh, helped me win the match. In this way, I, I failed myself by uh, identifying the wrong threat and uh, got overconfident in my own uh, unit's abilities. Uh, with this match, uh, it was a pretty simple match because I brought Vela Jewel, which eliminates Jean as a threat at all. Uh, and Leo is sort of a cheat code for taking on Theomars. Even though Theomars it, can proc 4,000 times, uh, his first skill scales with the, his damage scales with speed. So right now his speed is matched to my Leo, which is 100. So uh, the first skill damage is not that much of a threat as you see. He hits my uh, Iris for less than 5k with the first skill. I brought Iris. And just for some sustain and the strip because uh, Wusa and this one happens to be on a violent build but uh, with the uh, three turn immunity can get pretty annoying uh, but after that after the Theo goes down this uh, match is pretty much over uh, Iris also provides the utility kit for uh, silence which makes her a pretty good unit and uh, having multiple opportunities to strip the shield uh, shortens the length of the battle. I really like Leo against uh, speed scaling uh, units on defense. 
anytime I see one, I usually bring my Leo. Because it, it, right off the get-go, you're, you're, you're handicapping the defense. Uh, you're eliminating a good percentage of their damage. And like I said, with uh, no provoke from the Jean or Jean, uh, it really didn't even play a factor other than it's a uh, passive heal, on, or not even passive, but the first skill heal 10% uh, of her HP every time she attacks. Passive strip is so strong. Even after Iris's nerf uh, a few balance patches ago, it's still a great unit to have. I mean, the only thing other than uh, the current setup I could recommend is bringing in a defense break unit because even uh, with the length of time that this match went on, there wasn't much damage output from the other side. So I don't think they would have taken down a unit without a, a heal being on my side either way. And my Leo is on a Vampire Broken set. Uh, my Villa Jewel is on a uh, Violent Will. And uh, Iris is on a Despair Revenge. And that's pretty much it for this. Uh, after action review, if you saw any comps that you liked, comment below if you see anything that I can do better. Once again, comment below. I look forward, look forward to the feedback, and I'll see you guys in the next video.